It's a high res streamer, a DNA renderer, a Rune endpoint, decodes MQA, receives Bluetooth and AirPlay, supports Tidal, Deezer, Cobus and Spotify. It can be fitted with an internal 2.5 inch hard disk or SSD and then can function as a NAS, UPnP server, FTP server and DNA server as well. It's even a digital recorder. And you think that's great? Wait till you hear the price. When I reviewed the Coxal Audio X35 I was impressed by the plethora of standard functions it supports. Since Cocktail Audio thinks modular, they use the same streaming server and indexing te technology across the entire range of products. The differences are in the analog outputs and, in this case, the front panel user interface. Where the X models use the same housing, the same display, FM radio, DAB plus and the same slot loading drive, the X35 comes with an amplifier integrated, while the soon to be introduced X45 lacks the power amp but has a class higher DAC. The N15D on review here is essentially the same streamer platform but without the FM and DAB plus radio functions, smaller housing, no display and no power amps. FM radio and DAB plus is becoming more and more obsolete anyway since often internet radio sounds better and the N15D does internet radio. To make up for the lack of a display, Cocktail Audio supplies an app and again for me a better solution since I like to keep my streamer close to the rest of my equipment, making it hard for me to read the display, let alone operating the knobs on the front. But I'm aware there are people that do prefer a full function in front panel. The result is a very compact but relatively heavy full aluminium housing measuring 180 by 220 by 50 mm and that's including the protruding knobs and sockets. On the front left the 6.3 mm headphone jack, a USB 2 socket for storage devices, a volume knob that mutes when pressed or resets the LAN connection back to wired when pressed for at least 6 seconds. On the right the power button plus power light. The manual suggests you first put the N15D to sleep using the app before using this button. I would suggest to only use the sleep function and forget about the power button altogether. The rear is a lot more crowded. On the left the IEC main socket, the stereo analog out on RCAs, two USB 3 sockets, a network connector, a USB B socket for using the N15D as USB DAC and a digital outputs on RCA and Tuslink. Below that a drawer that is fixed with two thumb screws that can hold a 2.5 inch hard disk or SSD for storage. Currently the limit for hard disks is 2 terabytes due to the maximum height of 9.5 mm. SSD now become available in capacities up to 4 terabyte, but they are still very costly. The average CD ripped in flag is around 500 megabytes, so a 500 gigabyte drive will hold around 1000 CDs and such a hard disk will set you back less than 50 euros. An SSD with the same capacity will cost you 3 or 4 times that. If you want to use Wi-Fi, a Wi-Fi USB dongle is available at 30 euros and fits in one of the USB 3.0 sockets on the rear. On the inside we see a large transformer and the power supply PCB. Next to it the interface board for the hard disk using a flat cable to connect to the main board. On this side of the print I saw no audio but after some deconstruction I was able to see the underside. The printing on the chips were rather vague so I couldn't define them all. What I did see was the dual core ARM Cortex A9 processor and the accompanying memory. The Exmos digital signal processor and the ESS Sabre DAC ES9018 K2M. The N15D supports official versions of the NTFS, HFS Plus and X4 file systems. So whether you use Windows, Mac OS or Linux, your hard disk can be read by the N15D. The network interface is gigafast ethernet. 
This kind of device often is hard to understand for the less well informed. But the plethora of working modes actually means that you can't go wrong. Whatever you want the device to be, it will be. Well, within reason of course. It basically is a standalone jukebox that can store music files on the optional internal or external hard disk and plays them back through the analog or digital outputs to your amplifier. An internet connection is needed for the metadata that is automatically downloaded when you add music to the music database or when you want to listen to streaming services. Tidal, Cobus, Deezer and Spotify are supported. The plan is to add the new Hi-Res audio streaming service and Amazon Music in the next firmware update. For internet radio, arable internet radio is provided. You can also play back music from your computer or NAS over the N15D using the internal browser. You just have to have your computer or NAS share the music files using the Samba protocol, which is the protocol even your fridge might support. The same goes for music that is stored on a computer or NAS that runs DNA server software. You can even use it as a Rune endpoint. Now, don't let this scare you off. It's like those boxes with tea bags you see in modern pubs. If you just want Earl Grey, simply select that tea bag. But if you want designer tea, that's possible too. To make things even more accessible, many languages can be selected. English, French, German, Dutch, Italian, Korean, traditional Chinese, Thai, Danish, Spanish, Russian, Portuguese, Turkish, Greek, Czech, Polish, Hebrew, Japanese and Finnish. Actually there is no single way of working, but let's start with using the unit as a standalone player. It will need a hard disk edit then. You can order the N15D with a hard disk mounted or you can mount one yourself. The drawer on the rear can be unlocked by two thumb screws and drawn out. The 2.5 inch hard disk or SSD must be 9.5 mm or lower and should be mounted using four small screws that come with the unit. My review sample was fitted with a hard disk already containing some music, but I copied some of my music over the network to a map I created called Import. Then using the browser in the Music X app, I had the N15D move the music to its music library. If you want, you could also have it copy the music, for instance if you have it on an external drive you want to keep as is. The N15D then completes the metadata if necessary. But you don't need to do that. You could also play from a network share, a USB drive and so on using the browser. As said, you could also use the N15D as a NAS, a DNLA server and so on. Just for the fun I had Rune indexing music on the N15D and played that same music back to the N15D using it as a Rune endpoint. Since the N15D only has the volume knob on the front, you have to control it using a smartphone, tablet or computer. The Music X app is available for both iOS and Android while on a computer and also on a smartphone or tablet if you like, you can use the HTTP interface by opening the browser and typing the IP address. There's no point going over the user interface. If you are used to another user interface then this one needs to get used to and if you are used to this one, you need to get used to the other one. Perhaps with the exception of Rune. People that like to be able to use their own map structure will be chuffed, for when using the browser you can fully do this. The N15D plays about anything you throw at it, DSD64 to DSD256 and PCM up, up to DXD which is 24 bit 352.8 kHz and of course MQA. Sound wise the N15D really sounds excellent given its price. It's relaxed, open and pleasant, but it's also powerful, fast and has a deep detailed base. Prices differ per continent, but we're talking 649 euros retail in my country. Play an MQA track and the sound even opens up further, making it worth its money as a USB DAC alone. 
Given its price, the N15D is remarkably good sounding and absurdly versatile. This is the second product by Cocktail Audio I reviewed, the X35 being the first. And like the X35, the N15D surprised me not only sound-wise, but also for its build quality and of course the extremely large number of features. And a 2TB hard disk and you're set for 725 euros and have the capacity for about 4000 CDs. As I have said before, I always look for interesting products to review, a product that's just as good as all the others at the same price doesn't do much for me. Again I have managed to find such a product and if you're interested in even more of these, subscribe to this channel or follow me on Twitter, Facebook or Google+. If you like this video, please consider supporting the channel through Patreon or Paypal. Any financial support is much appreciated. The links are in the comments. Help me to help even more people enjoy music at home by telling your friends on the web about this channel. I am Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.